really impressed with um, the focus from our players, um, just the attention to detail, they were very deliberate um, about the work that we had to do uh, today. And so um, really good energy, talk to the guys about, you know, taking it one day at a time, the preparation, um, just looking for improvement, you know, what, what do I have to do to get better? How can I get better? Am I doing that? Did I do it yesterday? Will I do it tomorrow? Um, and staying neutral in the situation, you know, just taking it one day at a time, uh, one moment at a time, figuring out, okay, what do I have to do to play well? And so, um, they had really good focus today, and I was happy the way they approached it. So, it was a good day's work. Coach, uh, it looked like you answered a similar question as the other day, but as your first game as, as a head coach, uh, are you expecting any butterflies, maybe being out on the field, thinking of the people who, who helped get you in that position, anything like that come Friday night? Uh, no, I, I don't anticipate having that. Uh, this is actually not my first experience as a you know head coach in the first game, and so uh, you know, I've kind of already been through that. I'm just really focused on what has to be done, you know, just game day operation. Um, but you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but it won't be any, anything uh, you know out of the out of the out of the ordinary for me. Game week is always a little bit different for the players. Do you feel like they've dialed into the game plan and, and picking up all the little details that you guys are pushing on? Yeah, I feel like the, the game plan is unfolding and guys are really starting to really have a good understanding of what they need to do from the plan and what our opponents going to do or what we've seen them do. Um, and so uh, that's been really good. You, know, you shouldn't see a whole lot of change on the way you guys behave on uh, game week if you've been practicing the right way during camp. You know? and so um, it's just been, it's been an up-tempo, fast-paced, you know, guys are playing hard, but that's the way we practice all the time. It's really just the only thing that's different is that we're game planning. And so um, we really put an emphasis you know, on that with our players, you know, just telling them, you know, we're going to practice hard. We're not, you know, when it's time to go hard, we're not saving it. You, know, you have to trust your training. We'll get you back, your legs will be ready for the game. But when it's time to go and it's time to practice, we got to get we got to get after it. And so that's what these, these days were for early in the week. The Rams have a couple 250 pounders at tight end. I mean, what do big bodies act like? What kind of challenges does that present for a secondary? Yeah, they're big, strong, fast, physical guys. And so, um, very talented. You know, we just have to use our technique and fundamentals. Um, you know, we have to match their physicality. You know, great eye discipline, you know, great technique. Uh, and go play. With this being your first Rocky Mountain showdown, what do your players, do they talk about it like this is a big rivalry, this is a big deal, or it's just another game? I haven't heard the players talk about how big the rivalry is, um, but I, I know that it's a huge game because there hasn't been a day that I've been here since December 5th that someone has said something about this game to me and how important it is. And so uh, the players know this. Every game is a, is a big game, but um, you know, I just look at them as great moments. You know, great moments. You, you don't get that many when you play football. You know, you're not playing 100 games a year. You know? And so um, it's a moment that we can embrace and show what we're all about. Do you expect Coach Summers to be on the sideline or up in the booth? Yeah, he'll be on the sideline. Is how do you anticipate, given your experience as a defensive coordinator, kind of that dynamic work in between you guys uh, on game days? Oh, he's going to call the game, and, and, uh, and I'll be right. I'll be right there for both coordinators, you know, to uh, step in if needed. You know, with practice, you mentioned that uh, you want practice tougher than games and all that stuff. But do you have to guard against some human nature with some of these guys that have never been? You know, 70,000 people in an NFL stadium, just kind of some jitters come with that or just some anxiety that comes with that? Yeah, there, there, there may be some of that. Um, you know, but again, we practice, you know, we put a lot of pressure on guys in practice. And uh, usually if it's your first experience out, you know, it kind of goes away after that first hit. You know, that's, the, that's the key is get that first hit in and let's go play. Did you see steady progression from Steven Montez from the beginning of camp until, until today? Did you see him grasp the offense and, and make all the areas he needs to make. Steven, is, he's improved as a player. Uh, he's really been, uh, he's really, really been focused on the details, and he's, he's got a command of the offense. He knows all our checks. He's a really smart kid. You know how talented he is. Um, and I'm actually seeing you know, more leadership from him, you know, and uh, his decision making, you know, getting rid of the ball, throwing the ball away, taking the defense gives you. You know, he's been doing that on a consistent basis, which makes him, uh, Makes him a better player, makes us a better team. Well, this is your first time through this, but uh, last time this will be in Denver. Um, do you have any opinion on 
for this sort of game? Should it be an NFL stadium? Is it a good experience for the guys? Or would you prefer to see these on campus? I don't have an opinion on it, but um, I know that it's, it's a great venue. Um, playing, a, playing a great stadium with a great opponent. And um, it's going to be excitement from both sides, and everyone's looking forward to it. Um, but you know, I want to thank the Broncos for, for what they're doing and having the game there. So it's a great opportunity for our players, great moment. Yesterday you talked about the difference between anxiety and feeling pressure heading into a game. Do you right. feel like your guys are feeling the pressure in a good way for this game on Friday? Well, they're going to feel they're going to feel some pressure. I mean, if you don't if you don't feel something, then you know you probably don't care very much. That's that's my opinion. So, um, but I, that's not a concern. Um, you know, we've got to go out. We have to continue to prepare this week, rest this week. Then if we go out. It's going to be about execution following the game plan, playing harder, playing longer, trusting your training, trusting each other, being unselfish, you know, urgency, all those things. That's what it's going to, that's what it's going to be about. And, you know, every player is going to have a, a history and a life of his own. And we'll play one play at a time but to the best of our ability. And that's our goal. With uh, you and Mike Bobo both uh, having coached at Georgia, is there, is there some bragging rights on the line with this one? I don't think there's bragging rights relative to the, to the Georgia uh, thing, but I, obviously, our goal is to to put our best forward, but put our best foot forward and win every game. You know, that's our goal. So, um, but yeah, there's nothing personal about this this matchup in terms of me and, and, uh, and Mike. This is just uh, two two great programs, uh, you know, competing at a high level. We saw the you bring out the turnover chain, um, and I believe you did something at Georgia with the spike guys. Do you have any plans to reward the players for turnovers? Yeah, we we, we may we may have something. Uh, you know, we it just doesn't happen. You have to have a conscious effort to put the ball off the man. So um, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get some takeaways and we'll see what happens after that. Thank you, coach.